Hi, this is Scott Henderson. I'm at the Baked Potato in North Hollywood, and this is my Gear Spotlight. Um, I've been a certain dresser for a long time. I'm just gonna start show you my guitar. Um, this is the Scott Henderson model and actually the only thing that makes it different than a regular classic is um, that in positions two and four the uh, tone controls are bypassed. So you know these are full brightness when you have the combination of this or this. And uh, I do that because um, you know when I'm playing the treble pickup I like to roll the tone down to about four and then if I go here, then I would have to turn it all the way up and go back here and turn it all the way down. And that saves me from having to do that. And a lot of my students have found this to be a really convenient wiring, you know. So uh, that's really the only thing that makes it different. And maybe, um, you know, the fact that it's got a regular fender six screw bridge on it as opposed to the two post. Uh, the, the thing I love about the Sir guitars is that they're very light. The necks are much flatter, so you don't have the fretting out like you do with a curved neck. Big frets, so it's very comfortable to play. And these pickups are awesome. You know, they're the, they're the Landau pickups that I totally love. And uh, the best thing is the noiseless system, which allows you to play in a city like New York or LA with no hum and using real single coil pickups. So it's just a totally great guitar and uh, I would never play anything else. This amp is awesome. Like I said, it's, it's hand-wired and it only has one channel, so it's got a really punchy, clean tone. I use the Sur line box. I come out of an external speaker jack that I'm not using, and I go into this line box here, and that turns it into line level. And from here, it goes into this other little SVC box which controls the, the input to the SE70. And then the SE70, which is set on completely wet, goes into the little Fender Deluxe and that's where my reverb and delay and effects come out. So we got dry here and wet there. My experience, and I've only been running a, a wet dry signal for about six months now, I used to, I was doing it in the dog party days and it sounded great and, and uh, I went back to it because I, I really have learned that when you don't have reverb and delay in the same speakers clouding everything up, um, the, the pickup has a much better connection with the speaker and just does its job better. Every note will feed back in a really nice way because you don't have anything in the speaker clouding the issue. Also, you don't have anything in the effects loop loading down the amp. So, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for checking out my gear spotlight and I hope to see you at one of our shows.